How to reduce fat through yoga. A regular yoga practice can help you lose weight and reduce overall body fat. Many asanas, or poses, can help strengthen muscles, which will in turn help burn excess fat. In addition, practicing more active and intense flowing yoga styles such as Ashtanga, Jivamukti, or Vinyasa can contribute to fat burning and increased endurance. However, yoga must be combined with a sensible diet and other cardiovascular exercise to effectively reduce body fat, in addition to providing other health benefits such as lower blood pressure and stress relief. Practicing yoga for fat reduction. Use a different routine each time. Sequencing, or putting together asanas poses that make up a solid yoga practice, can be one of the most difficult parts of practicing yoga. Set a different sequence of poses for yourself every session. This will keep your muscles from adapting and help you get the most fat reduction benefits. If you like, start your practice with a short meditation or chanting exercise to calm your mind and center your thoughts. Follow your warm-up of sun salutations with a pose or two from each of the four types of asanas. The four types of asanas are, standing poses, inversions, backbends, and forward bends. You can then end with corpse pose, which is called savasana in Sanskrit. Consider having a mixture of easy and difficult sessions, as well as short and long practice times. Consider varying how long you hold each pose. You may want to flow through asanas one day while holding them for 30 seconds to a minute on other days. This can help challenge your muscles. If you like, start your practice with a short meditation or chanting exercise to calm your mind and center your thoughts. Follow your warm-up of sun salutations with a pose or two from each of the four types of asanas. The four types of asanas are, standing poses, inversions, backbends, and forward bends. You can then end with corpse pose, which is called savasana in Sanskrit. Consider having a mixture of easy and difficult sessions, as well as short and long practice times. Consider varying how long you hold each pose. You may want to flow through asanas one day while holding them for 30 seconds to a minute on other days. This can help challenge your muscles. Warm up with sun salutation. Dot. If you're practicing vigorous yoga to reduce fat, it is important to warm up your body. Doing a few rounds of sun salutations, which are called Surya Namaskar in Sanskrit, can effectively prepare your muscles and mind to practice yoga while helping your body reduce fat. There are three different variations of sun salutations. Do two to three rounds of sun salutations to warm up. This can engage and condition your muscles, may help ensure a safe and more pliable practice, and could minimize your overall body fat. Add a sun salutation between different poses to incorporate more flow and challenge into your mind and body. There are three different variations of sun salutations. Do two to three rounds of sun salutations to warm up. This can engage and condition your muscles, may help ensure a safe and more pliable practice, and could minimize your overall body fat. Add a sun salutation between different poses to incorporate more flow and challenge into your mind and body. Incorporate different poses. You do not have to be able to do every yoga asana, or pose, in existence to have an effective daily practice or to build muscle and lose fat. Incorporating and mastering different poses can help you put together a daily practice which won't get boring or routine and may help you lose fat. Make sure to start with easier asanas and move on to more difficult poses as you master basic ones. Do asanas from each type of pose in the following order, standing poses, inversions, backbends, and forward bends, S equals, reference, aria label equals, link to reference 12, greater than add a twisting pose to neutralize and stretch your spine between backbends and forward bends if you like. Add standing poses that engage leg, butt, and back muscles such as tree pose or the warrior series. As you progress, you can incorporate more challenging standing poses such as extended triangle pose and revolved triangle pose. Add inversions that engage your arm, back, and abdominal muscles including handstand. You can practice handstand on a wall until you have enough strength to hold yourself up. Gradually add forearm balance and headstand as your practice improves. Add back, arm, and leg strengthening back bends including locust pose, cobra pose, bridge pose. Work up to bow pose and full wheel or upward bow. Add a twist if you need a balance between back bends and forward bends. Twists can get quite deep. Try mastering Bharadvaja's twist before moving on to more difficult asanas such as Half Lord of the Fishes pose. Add leg, butt, and back strengthening forward bends such as seated forward bend, heat of the knee pose, or star pose and hold them each for 8 to 10 balanced breaths. Finish active practice with closing postures such as supported shoulder stand, fish pose, and legs up the wall pose. These poses engage the muscles of your arms, back, abdominals, and legs, but also calm your mind and your practice in corpse pose and enjoy the benefits of your yoga session. Make sure to start with easier asanas and move on to more difficult poses as you master basic ones. 
Do asanas from each type of pose in the following order, standing poses, inversions, back bends, and forward bends. Add a twisting pose to neutralize and stretch your spine between back bends and forward bends if you like. Add standing poses that engage leg, butt, and back muscles such as tree pose or the warrior series. As you progress, you can incorporate more challenging standing poses such as extended triangle pose and revolved triangle pose. Add inversions that engage your arm, back, and abdominal muscles including handstand. You can practice handstand on a wall until you have enough strength to hold yourself up. Gradually add forearm balance and headstand as your practice improves. Add back, arm, and leg strengthening back bends including locust pose, cobra pose, bridge pose. Work up to bow pose and full wheel or upward bow. Add a twist if you need a balance between back bends and forward bends. Twists can get quite deep. Try mastering Bharadvaja's twist before moving on to more difficult asanas such as half lord of the fishes pose. Add leg, butt, and back strengthening forward bends such as seated forward bend, heat of the knee pose, or star pose and hold them each for 8 to 10 balanced breaths. Finish active practice with closing postures such as supported shoulder stand, fish pose, and legs up the wall pose. These poses engage the muscles of your arms, back, abdominals, and legs, but also calm your mind and your practice in corpse pose and enjoy the benefits of your yoga session. Lengthen the time of your practice. Try extending the duration of your practice by holding each pose a bit longer, adding additional asanas and flowing seamlessly between the poses. Add new and more challenging poses as you are able. Many yoga classes are between 60 and 90 minutes, so you could set your practice around that length or attend a class at a studio. Many yoga classes are between 60 and 90 minutes, so you could set your practice around that length or attend a class at a studio. Intensify your practice. You may want to increase the intensity of your practice to help build strength, burn calories and reduce fat. This can be done easily by holding each asana for different period and by challenging yourself with more difficult asanas. For example, poses that involve lunges or squats can be taken a bit lower. You can increase the speed of transitions between asanas to create more intensity. Adding a sun salutation or vinyasa between poses can help torch calories and fat. You can also integrate more challenging poses. For example, you may want to try tripod headstand instead of regular headstand. Increase the frequency of your practice. One of the best ways to deepen your yoga practice and burn calories and fat is to increase the number of days you practice. You can safely build up to 5 to 7 days per week. Consider making yoga part of your daily routine or mix it up with other types of exercise for maximum benefit. Consider making yoga part of your daily routine or mix it up with other types of exercise for maximum benefit. Boost your metabolism with yogic breathing. Yogic breathing, or pranayama, is one of the core skills of any yoga practice. Focusing on your breathing can deepen your asana practice, tune you into your own body, and boost your metabolism. Pranayama can help your body distribute oxygen to your body. The goal is to breathe deeply by inhaling and exhaling completely and in a balanced manner through your nose. For example, you would inhale for four breaths, hold for two counts, and then exhale completely for four breaths. You can vary the counts according to your abilities. You want to get the most out of your yogic breathing, so sit upright, with your shoulders back, and refrain from slouching. Breathe slowly and evenly by focusing from your stomach, pulling in your belly to expand your lungs and ribcage. You can also try a form of breathing called UJ in Sanskrit, which can help you flow through your practice more effectively. You do UJ by inhaling and exhaling evenly through your nose and making a slight sound like the sea when you breathe. 